Making sense of relative clauses. Hello, English learners. Today, we're going to demystify relative clauses in English. By the end of this video, you'll not only know what relative clauses are, but you'll also understand why they're so important. So, let's dive in. Relative clauses are a type of subordinate clause that contain a subject and a verb, and they provide additional information about a noun. This noun is often referred to as the antecedent. Now, here's an example to make things clear. The girl who lives next door is my friend. The relative clause in this sentence is, who lives next door. It's giving us more information about the girl, who is the antecedent. Relative clauses always begin with a relative pronoun or a relative adverb. The most common relative pronouns are who, whom, whose, which, and that. Relative adverbs include when, where, and why. There are two main types of relative clauses, restrictive or defining clauses, and non-restrictive or non-defining clauses. A restrictive relative clause provides essential information about the noun. Without this clause, the meaning of the sentence changes. For example, people who smoke should exercise regularly. If you remove the relative clause, who smoke, the sentence's meaning changes significantly. On the other hand, a non-restrictive relative clause provides extra information that can be removed without changing the essential meaning of the sentence. These clauses are usually set off by commas. For example, my brother, who lives in Canada, is a doctor. Even if you remove the clause, who lives in Canada, the main point, that my brother is a doctor, still stands. Relative clauses have two primary purposes, to combine sentences and to avoid repetition. By using relative clauses, we can make our sentences more complex and informative while still maintaining clarity and cohesion. For example, instead of saying, I have a new car. It is very fast. We can combine these two sentences into one. I have a new car that is very fast. Here, that is very fast, is a relative clause that helps us avoid repetition and combine two sentences. And that's it for today's lesson on relative clauses. I hope this video has been helpful and that you now feel more comfortable using and identifying relative clauses. They're a fantastic tool to enhance your English writing and conversation skills. So don't be afraid to use them. Keep practicing, and you'll get the hang of it in no time. Until next time, happy learning!